Jack O'Marine and the Liquid Fire Fishing Team. I want to go over some quick tips with you on kite fishing today. And we're out here off the coast of North Carolina. It's early June, the bite's just starting, and we're fishing for some toothy critters today. King mackerel, uh, Spanish mackerel. There's a, we just caught an early mahi, so that was really nice. So I want to go over real quickly about what you do and how you get a kite out. We've already got the kite up in the air, so we're going to show you how that goes up in a little bit. And then I want to show you some of the equipment that we use. But one thing I want to show you real quickly, Taco Marine does a really nice job. we got three different offerings for kite tridents. This one is an offset that also has a tool caddy, which holds your drink, holds pliers, uh, rigging kits, got a nice little drawer to hold your corks and your uh, kite rings. So really, really nice product. This comes off, it's sold separately if you need it. But we also have this tried in in addition to the offset to a straight one where the center comes right up the middle and it handles real easily if you need to pick up your kites and move it from rod holder to rod holder in case you need to move to the side of the boat. It also has a nice little uh, tether that where you can put your rods to or you can tether the entire uh, unit down to somewhere on your boat to make sure that if the wind's real high you don't lose it by some chance. So I want to go over some equipment real quickly. A lot of different items on the market that are very very good for kite fishing, king mackerel fishing, but what we like to use is a really really fast reel. Uh, out here we're not really targeting sailfish today, however these species are fast and we've got a 7 to 1 ratio accurate. It's their new BVL 600 series. We're using 20 pound mono um, and a long 45, 48 inch wire leader from American Fishing Wire so that in case something with teeth, a king mackerel or Spanish mackerel hit, it doesn't cut through the leader. One thing that you want to make sure that you do when you're kite fishing is you have a really short kite rod. The benefit to a short kite rod is to be able to reach the clips and your bait when you're clipping it into your bait. That way you don't have to reach real far out. This is a pretty high gunnel boat so it's real important to have a short kite rod. Some of them are even shorter than this particular one. In addition to that, we've got a really, really nice electric reel by hooker electric. It's important to have something with a lot of strength and a lot of drag because you got a kite way up in the air and when you pull it in it does pull against wind, it pulls against current, and all kinds of things when your boat's drifting so it's really important to have this. You don't have to have an electric reel, it's just a really nice benefit if you can and if your boat's rigged up for it. But long and short of it, it brings a kite in quickly and uh, it, it allows it to go out nice and smoothly with a nice smooth drag. So I want to show you real quick what you do to basic setup on your kite reel and uh, so let's get started here. I'm gonna have my sons Joshua and Crockett work with me and we'll show you what to do. So some of the equipment and the terminal tackle that you're gonna need when kite fishing is a kite ring. This is a stainless round kite ring. We've got a cork. This is an orange cork. This is our favorite. It makes it easy to see. That way you can see where your bait is on the water. This one's by r, &R Tackle. Then we've got about a half inch weight. We've got lighter baits so that you want to make sure that it stays in the water and a bead to stop it. So, and then it's connected to, this is 50 pound fluorocarbon, which in turn comes back to what I mentioned a while ago, about a 45 inch wire leader with a nice small swivel. Okay, now that we've let out our first bait, which is a long bait, you want to make sure that you move that rod to the outside rod holder on your trident. That way if a fish hits, it releases and it stays away from your shorter baits. We're going to let out a second bait. This one's rigged up for three, but we're going to only show you and run two today. The wind's not real strong, so, but it handles two baits pretty well. We've got a live bait hook. We're going to hook it right through the front of the dorsal. That way the nose of the bait stays down in the water and it swims down and freely. And then on the treble hook, right through the back 
right behind the back dorsal fin. That way you've got a bait ready to go, two hooks, so when a fish hits, got a better chance to catch. So same process for letting out the second bait. Take your kite ring, place it in your kite clip so that it, the line is away from the clip and releases freely. The great thing about the corks is that for an old guy like me, it makes it a whole lot easier to see your bait out there. So we're gonna let go the second line. And while you're letting the second one out, you must pay attention to the first one so that it doesn't come flying out of the water. Make sure you've got it almost in free spool so it allows the bait to freely go out. Both baits are treading out pretty quickly. It's nice and smooth. I'm trying to keep it in the water just on the surface which is the full benefit of kite fishing. It's a whole different presentation than let's say slow trolling with live bait. All right, as you can see, we've got both of our baits out here. Both of them swimming nicely on the surface of the water. You wanna keep a nice presentation out there. The thing about live bait fishing, it just gives a completely different presentation than let's say, like I said, slow trolling with live bait. Um, keeps the leader out of the water and it keeps the fish, if you pay close attention, it keeps them right on the surface with a really active presentation. It draws a lot of attention to the fish. A lot of good kite fishing teams will fish a third uh, kite line and they'll fish two to three kites uh, out, on the, out on the water during tournaments. Some of the South Florida guys who are big into sail fish use this tactic and this huge benefit to catching a lot of fish. So. It's a lot of fun. We have a great time doing it. We've caught a few fish today and uh, looking forward to giving you a little more footage, a little more time on the water. Joshua just uh, landed a fish, landed a nice king mackerel, probably 30 pounds plus right here in early June here in North Carolina on a long bait on a kite. We're going to have this baby for uh, some smoked fish dip. It just doesn't get much better than this. So do yourselves a favor. Get out there learn a little more about kite fishing it's a pretty awesome experience you got your taco trident in the background there that one's offset with the tool caddy it does a great job until next time folks i'm captain mark henderson with joshua and crockett on the liquid fire fishing team and taco marine hope you have a great day get out there on the water and have some fun see you soon